Hello everyone and welcome to Medieval Dynasty. So, uh, different game this time, not playing American Truck Sim. Um, and I'm actually starting a new game, uh, completely new. Um, in SW Gaming, like I remember when trying to do Satisfactory, I was using Wiimod. Although Wiimod is supported for Medieval Dynasty, I am not going to be using it. So it's completely, pretty much all vanilla, all this kind of stuff. So, yeah, uh, let's actually dive in and get in and start playing this. I used to have a simple life. Whatever needed doing around the farm, I'd do it. <laughs> Being the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living, and our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away, yelling for me to run, to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. He made a modest fortune up north, in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks I held on to that thought, until the valley from my mother's stories, I could see it. This is where I can start a new life. Yeah, always a good intro for Medieval Dynasty. I have played it before, but like, um, I know there's a lot of people out there that hasn't, probably never seen like all this sort of stuff as well. Like, so I thought I'll start with Medieval Dynasty and start looking, exploring more games and all this kind of stuff. Now, um, Virtually, it is like a survival game, all this kind of stuff, so, yeah, um, as well as it's a village building game, so you got to build a village as well, so, um, I'm going to actually look at starting to build up my village around here, um, the reason why I'm saying around here, because there is bears there, although it is a bit of a walk down to the water here for the reeds, which we will need. So I might as well get, start collecting some of these resources as well, like sticks and stones. Because we are going to need a lot of resources to, to like get this village really started. And like it is a slow start, but I'm pretty sure we'll get there eventually. Now I've got a few things disabled, like I've got unlimited health, unlimited hunger, unlimited fur, unlimited stamina. Stamina, sorry. Um, where is he? Uh, no, you're not here. So we've got um click resources um so yeah now the sticks now I'm also just gonna keep picking up these sticks because they'll Now I mentioned where I'm going to build a, um, my village, um, so I think I should build, go, um, go up that way, but before I do, I should actually come down here to, I'll click these things.
Mind you, I've got uh, the XP amplifier up, all this kind of stuff. I'm going to click as much read as I can so I don't have to come to this. Um, yeah, I've got to, got to click as much read as possible just so I don't have to come down to the river for a little bit. Um, still got a fair bit to start off with. These sort of games actually do amaze me, they do inspire me because uh, they're actually my favourite, like... Simula simulation is like one of my favorite games, but like or well, genre of games, but it's more of the um, building aspect that actually inspires me the most. So inspires me the most. So yeah. Um, so this is the area I'm thinking of building the village. But like um, it's not exactly that much flatter than anything. Um, but we can make do with the land, so... We'll might as well get there. Oh, I need the trees. around here there's a wine bottle a wheat bottle a mead bottle yeah, I'll take those come on cherry wine some more sticks oh I'll start off with the uh, getting the wood first um, There's actually a lot of resources around here too. Um, not just specifically here, but there's a um, cave up there where we can um, build a mine. Another place I was thinking of is somewhere just down here because then it's also close to the water and the area is pretty flat as well. But then like, as I said, there's a mine right here. Not too far from where we are. Well, actually, I'll go, I'll go down here so I'll set that pin to where it is. It's only 500 meters away, so not that far.
pretty noisy outside at the moment. Um, purchased a microphone off um, Amazon Prime. Uh, sorry, Amazon's not Prime. Um, I got Prime, so I got free delivery. Um, but uh, anyway, so yeah, purchased a new microphone to help reduce with the background noise. So hopefully, all this works out. There's, um, there's actually an uh, area here, and it's actually a pretty good wild, uh, pretty good hunting area as well, especially for moose and rabbits and that. So, we've got berries here. So, we'll get started and get this um, village, starting on, village started on the way. So I'll actually look at building it down here. I need a um, wooden hammer. Oh, they changed it around. Um, I've completely forgot about that. Needs good thing there is a lot of stone here too. You're gonna let me collect this stone? So virtually starting off with like very little resources, um, you don't, virtually you start off with like um, several stuff to help you survive the first year, like food wise, but you don't start off with any of the resources, all that you got to farm yourself. I'm thinking like, I got like a s small simple house started, because like, well, you got to have somewhere to live. I need to get more logs. Gonna need a lot of logs. So I'm thinking if I start with like a house for myself, two other houses, um, a wood shed and an extraction extraction shed, then that should be enough to start getting the resources that I need. Then of course I'll need like a um, But now, of course, I'll need a resource storage and all that kind of stuff as well. So it's virtually just getting what is needed to just get going really it's 
it's going to be a slow process. Still need a log. So eventually, I'm gonna to have to just chop down as many trees as I can to get all the re logs I need. So might as well get the um, the um, Only one dipl diplomacy arm. So I might as well start chopping down as many trees as I can, getting as much sticks as I can. Um, there's a lot of stone as I said. Actually we're going to deforest the forest. But as mentioned, down, the downside to this spot is like there's not many, um, there isn't really many areas to like, um, mine, there's like not many areas to mine all that kind of stuff, so I could chase that rather than kill it. So let's get an extraction down. Um, I'll need a woodshed.
so there's the woodshed, so we've got to get another house down. Um, pick up all these reeds here. There's these signed deposits here actually. Um, let's get another house down. Um, Do have that copper axe that I found earlier, so I can use that when this axe depletes. Uh, sorry, bronze axe. Um. I don't think punching the trees, punching the trees, is going to get me the wood. So, I'm um, hoping I actually do have enough. Let's get upstairs and Plenty of straw. Was just stressed by the fire. Um, sleep in the morning. Uh, sleep to the morning and get out and chop more wood. Get this house done. Get another house down. In construction. Hopefully, I have enough for. Uh, um, I need an extraction shed because um, I can build that. Um, I might actually build that next to the. Uh, 
I don't know if saying. Um, Save the next day and get this job on the road. Find all these, um, chop down as many trees, get as much wood, get as much stick as well. So much, as I said, it's, it's pretty much just a slow start, so slow starts are expected. Continue chopping down the trees of the logs as much as possible before I get to building the homes and stuff. So, yeah. I don't know if it's like possible to hear my background noise from the microphone today. Um, it is pretty loud outside.
So we've got another home here for another two people. Um, let's get a third one down. Before I go out on an adventure looking for people to move into um, at a stone. Typical. Find these, um, find a stone. There we go. Quite a fair bit here. Oh, gosh, I'm getting really tired myself. I've got to get more log and all that kind of stuff to again. And more sticks too. Running out of resources faster than you can um, have them. Collection of resources is just annoying. Um, just so much of the resources to collect and all that kind of stuff. It's but well, as mentioned, it is a pretty much a slow start to the game. So like things will be pretty slow. But I'm starting off with like the extraction shed and the. Um, And the workshop shed and two homes because then I can build a resource shed and then just get far more working from there. So Got a lot of wood to it. Nice. And the resource shed is going to be costing the most, so like... Got 30 logs now. It's actually pretty good. So I'm just trying to get enough um, resources to get up at least to the resource shed so I, I can go uh, try to get some villages to fill in two rolls and
think actually that should do for now. Um, I'll collect the sticks. I should have enough to get through at least with the resource storage. Oh, gosh, oh, I need to get some sleep eventually. It's not that late, actually. It's like, um, it's actually the afternoon here, uh, four o'clock in the afternoon at the time of this recording, and I'm pretty tired. But I was awake the entire night before as well, so I've got this also to do. Buildy, 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 buildy. Ah, uh, typical. So that's it, that's resource storage here, um, which is actually pretty good, uh, wrong one. So virtually need pick sacks and shovel for that, um, which I'll create and get, um, I'll try to create and make later. For now, well, I'm going to actually call it quits for me because I am pretty tired. Um, this is pretty much the start of the village that I'm going to be working on. As time progresses, um, I might do a little bit off camera, who knows, um, but I'll collect these sticks as well while I'm there. Um, it's only enough to get a resource storage actually going and making sure that I have enough for building my village here, but yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed. Until next time, I'll stay, stay, stay tuned again. Bye.